De Brito. Fabiana De Brito. She does actually. Ball thrown into De Brito. De Brito, nice little trickery there. What are we going to see with this young lad? He's got a lot of skill. Guess he's not on target. Neil Ian. He's heading towards that back post and uh, Rafiki just put the uh, abdominals on the line. Uh, Baldwin, I get to register a result uh, in, after five rounds. This is the sixth round as De Brito gets the ball on a string. He's very, very nippy, very good, and a nice pass of Oh, it's a 1 0! And what a lovely goal! Monsieur Lou had to do the tapping, but De Brito gets past him, Mary like cake, and bangs one in. Well, where on earth did Musi and Law come from? He just popped up out of nowhere. He popped up out of nowhere. It must be a set piece. He got it on the knees. One nil. Dot the. Of course, involved. They've got not a bad list with uh, De Brito coming into it. He's a lovely, lovely player. Just touched it a bit too much. Little Brazilian there. Musalo gets to Brito. De Brito, what can he do? He takes a snap, but heels to Gimme Rosa with a brilliant. Great oh. play. We were talking about the patient play there and the build up from FC Melbourne. And Mayal makes absolutely no mistake and then embraces every moment in his little celebration. Well done to FC Melbourne, they earned that goal. De Brito on the field now, little Brazilian. Perhaps looking to chase this game to all of peace. There's definitely a winner in this game in my eyes. It could end up a draw, although I think the quality on the park can see a goal going through. Oh! Oh, well, the momentum's in their favour now. And they've got the confidence. Look, you can see it right there with a the great left foot snapshot. And everyone's throwing their body there. Rose is all out. Rose is out of that goal. This should be a goal. The Brito won't miss. Oh, it DP, uh, well, what's been called here is free kick in a very dangerous position. Free kick to be taken. Fletcher over the ball. The number eight has been missed by FC Melbourne. Fletcher, good pass. Oh, oh it's a goal that reaches the result. And Fabiana over to Stavridis. And Stavridis had the last touch, I believe, as the yawns are flying around here in the commentary box. Bang, Fabiana, bang, pass Goran. Goran almost saved it. 2-1 the score. FC Melbourne in for the team, lads. We'll be careful, Fabiano, he can cut in, he's a good player. Oh, it's centimetres wide. The Nord Rafidi from tapping one in did well, and that's a hard person to get past for Bullet Blue, but he still did well. Fabiano to get the ball. The ball comes all the way to scores. They got one back. Can I get one for respect? Oh! And Fabiano comes in and smacks one over the top. And Fadi Gurun almost took his head off. Let's have another look. It was a lovely ball by Skoulos. The weight stopped nicely. Fabiano knew exactly what he was doing. And Fadi Gurun gets chipped. It was a lovely goal by the little Brazilian. Over the top. Almost knocked himself out. And a little, little bit more respectable now. 6-3, albeit consolation goals. Will be mopped up. As the time will resume now, as we go, as you can see, just under two minutes remaining. Well, FC Melbourne put one out on, and Fabiano has pulled one through. But he's pinched the ball, and bang, Fadi Goran does really well to save that one. Comes all the way, one, two, play, same, loses out to Vridis. Ball comes to Fabiano. Oh, he gets chopped up. Yeah, that's that's a fifth be, foul. It's going to be a fifth foul penalty, and they go to the spot. Silly play, didn't have to do it. But they've got one very, very good shot stopper in goals. Fadi far Goran and... Uh
Men, men, still plenty of time to go. Fabiano still on the ball. Oh, pushing that back. It's ridiculous. Needs to say. Did not have to do with seconds remaining. What's he thinking? And Fabiano makes the most out of it. It's ridiculous. It won't play a difference on the score. As he's got the sleeves rolled up. He means business. De Brida. Beautiful pass, Fletcher. And uh, it was just another fierce crack by Cooper. He said, Look out for him as a nice pass there. De Brito's got in the corner, keeps the ball in. De Brito! Oh, lovely goal by Mael Guilil. But De Brito, have a look at this, didn't give up on the ball, stood, lifted his head up, unmarked, put through. A priori couldn't deny it off the line. He'll lay a good goal. Absolute good goal. Uh, De Brito just has such awareness out there, and one thing he has is those quick foot skills, and it allows him to get in a position uh, faster than most other players, get his head up, and then do exactly what he did. That was in no man's land as Barrientos, cool, calm, and collectively puts it away. But stick him into a field, and he would make quite a good scarecrow because that's what he looked like there. He certainly does. We've got to bring up the stats, New land. Bring up the stats. Oh! What are you talking about? That is one from in the center of the ground. Take over the lead and the voice is finished. Absolutely spectacular. Possibly the shortest player in the V-League has just scored one of the most spectacular headers. Look at his awareness there. He meant that, Peter. I oh, certainly did. It almost made my voice croak. That what was a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Plenty of space. They have that patches where they've looked really good. And Fletcher and Fabiano have combined well on that occasion. Can't get past Cooper, which is not the first time Cooper's had his number. Although this time, oh, he gets one back. De Brito, Fabiano De Brito. Just when you thought Cooper had his number, Cooper looked like he owned him. But De Brito stepped up, and that's a very rare battle against Cooper. Nevertheless, nine four. A little bit more respectable. A little scoop of duper over the top. And De Brito now, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. Fle you know, hit that back post, and there he is. Oh, the keeper does well again. And now De Brito breaks. Looks a lot of that left foot. And couple of teams around and Melbourne desperately need a goal and here's a man for it, Debrito is it in, oh wow, Debrito just when you thought he was going to line up that big toe poke of his they look a lot They look a lot lively Melbourne with Debrito on the field, oh, spot on stat man he was the missing link I mean, since he's come into this side he's, he's been the missing link stat man and here he is battling, working back wins the ball, he's everywhere Debrito and what can they do Nothing much from here. He's full of life, Fabian De Brito. Goal for us, so FC Melbourne are back in at 3-1, Hill. One more, and look at the confidence growing now. They're moving it around with De Brito. Oh, great ball. What, what a ball. ball by Fabian De Brito. Ilias De Brito should have done a bit better, I reckon, Hill. Look at Have this. a look at this. Straight through. Oh. That was the goal they needed to get themselves back in the game, Hill. They're doing it for a set play, Sam, man, from the Yeah, it's a set play. I can see this. They train hard, these lads. So to Brunswick though, it's De Brito. And then Shen Ethan to it. Oh, just one in that moment when the confidence is growing out there, Statman. Yes, they've got a goal on the board and I think they can get a couple more. There, Statman, come on. Yeah. De Brito, they're breaking in numbers. It's falling. Oh, through the legs of Brendan Chen. Oh. The oven opened up again and the tape was made. Well, Statman, if anyone walked past 407 Brunswick Street, they think we're running a cake factory here, Statman. Look at that. Statman, just a couple of minutes left. One more, we'll put him right back in it. It's the Brio battling. Is that a foul? Oh, he copped a little bit of a nudge, but it's Brunswick on the break. Oh, Pigger. Almost. Just to read us to bring it in. 
They desperately need one to start, man. No, Debrio, look how quick he is. Debrio! That's a foul. And that was a foul. No doubt about that one. It was a fifth foul. Perhaps why the last one wasn't awarded to that man. It would have been a little bit of a soft fifth foul. You see, the referees are sometimes hesitant. But uh, no doubt about that one. And that Albert Park, the Fitzroy South Tour happening now in New Welsh. And Richie Ferguson, the Premiership players, joins Fitzroy now too. Statman, how about this one? FC Melbourne, no changes. What yes. do you think of that? I've, I think they've been playing well. They're starting to gel as a team. So it's a good move, Chris Gosport, not making many changes, because that's the way to go, I think. You keep the same team weekend, you'll get better and better. Bill plays in the injured Raf Russo. I don't know when Raf's coming back, but it's going to be hard for him to come back. Oh, the players oh, over, Chris! My word, Statman! Yes. I thought that was in! I was about to call that as a goal! Oh, that was definitely Ooh. in your great save, got down. Wreckage, and uh, he's out there, and he's a young and up and comer. Played in the V-Nick for a while, and you just got a feeling that the confidence will grow now. Got different angle on angle, but should have probably done a bit better. Yeah, a little bit too much power for my likings. And he's playing target, Musia Law. And was that a free kick? There's only two other teams, or there's uh, three Pascal teams on two. Pascal on two premierships. North Bell on two premierships, and Fitzroy two premierships. And these these three teams are are right up there. What a season it is. And Debrito. Well, well, well. He's heard us talking and he said, well, FC Melbourne, they drew for the Premiership as well. Runs the ball back to halfway and they're right back in this one, Statman. Look at this, another set play here. Oh, it is ecstasy, quite. Statman. It sure is, Arnold. Got to love it. And uh, and uh, you've got to give credit to Captain Moussi and Law. They're a last-second uh, interception, just enough to put Rashidi off. And now it's Debrito, but what a tackle. It's been solid tonight, Shane Rashidi. Debrito holds it up well. Move the Brito. Oh, great play for you. Oh, goal! Oh, and how oh. many times have we seen him score in this fashion, stat man? I thought that probably should have been saved, but it didn't look like it was hit with much power, Neil. Let's have a look at the replay now. Yeah, not at all. Let's look at the oh. positioning. Oh, the positioning of the keeper was of, terrible. Of Batty in there. Oh. It did seem savable. It, it could be the difference of an off between the two keepers already. How you can the red is pulled by four save. And Baz has had one shot. Your shows. Wait for the opportunity. There it is, Jacob Colosimo. And you're right, stat man. A hell of a lot of quality out there in that Mickelham side. It's the breeder. Put on fire the father pocket dynamite. Screw us. Oh! And it's in anyway, Statman! What was Bazza doing all the way down there? Is he a player or keeper? Oh, and oh. that is Debrito. Well, a little oh. kiss of the finger towards the camera. Wonder who's that guy out to? Uh, Wilson, with basically his first touch of the game, does very well. And you've got oh, to wonder, got to, well... Philippe was just sort of cleared it. He was trying to clear it. It just got stuck under his feet. And Debrito, well, that's why he's the pocket dynamo. Look how quick he's in. Just, just ask me what Bazza doing was doing. All... And he's cross, man. Absolutely, uh, you were going on about him all season, stat man, and well, we should have listened to you because he's quality. <coughs> and was this a fifth foul, stat man? Very hard oh, to pick. Uh, very hard to pick. Nevertheless, a few silly fouls have been given away from the Mickey. That has got to stand up now. What's he doing? <laughs> and it's in, stat man. Three new to FC Melbourne. And Debrito cheekily hands the ball back to Baza. What was he doing there, Statman? I don't know, you could ask him, Neil. A little bit of the Melvin shuffle, but he's on the wrong side. Oh, well, what a start, Neil. Exactly what you want. Oh, he's managing the subs well, Chris Gospel. 
perfectly. And for you frothers out there, uh, these rallies... Filipovic dribbling it out from the back, seconds left, given away, it's Gabriela, it is Gabriela, Gabriela did all the hard work, the show, Fabian Gabriela, Leonardo Correa, the Brazilian magic, look at this, the little lad just waits patiently, does the smart thing, takes it out wide, and Correa slams it in, almost clotheslines himself on the crossbar. Doesn't matter, it's in. And uh, Melbourne back to that three goal commanding lead heading into half time stab, and the whistle's yeah, gone. Yeah, uh, Micklin worked hard to get on level terms, and now uh, Melbourne has skipped away, Neil. No doubt about it, Chris Gospel will be very happy. Micklin, not much time to more lift of those, the main. I think four more of those stat there. It's 8 4 at the moment. Neil said they can close the gap, there's only a few minutes remaining to two, either a chance in the second lead. Wide aim with power as Kitharidis throws it to Debrito. He's a frustrating player, isn't he, this young Debrito? Oh, he's a good player. I really like Fabian Debrito. He's quick, he's nippy, he's sharp, he's you elusive. Want, would you want to defend against him? No way. No way no. Foot skills are grouse. Yeah, he's oh, tricking himself, wasn't he? He's gone down a little theatrically. I mean you with a save there. It's the first save he just got to come off all night. to see Chris Gospel out there, Neil. Absolutely. Let's see if he's found his fitness tonight. Debrito. Debrito! <laughs> he snuck it in Calabas near post. He's welcomed Bronco Calabas back into the V-League. What a way to be welcomed back into the V-League, stat man. And Debrito, well, we've seen him do this week in, week out now. Just uh, takes on one or two players and he has a lethal little toe poke on him. He's gone around Alexander Kepstavanovic quite easy, Neil. That's too easy. That is a, a, a way too easy. And now Essendon on the counter-attack, Duchenne. Can he do anything with this? No, I think he went for the nutmeg there. He loves the nutmegs, Duchenne. And Debrio, well, he's dangerous. We've already seen it once. Debrio. Debrio with another. In the matter of the first few minutes, Debrio's got two goals. Simply amazing. Absolutely brilliant, this uh, little Brazilian star. And poor old Bucco Calaba, when he's got that little Brazilian pocket rocket out there to deal with. And like I said, he'll just take on one or two players and then fire that massive toe poke of his. And for a second week running, I think he's that man. Yes, but I think the Sensor side can come back from this. They're a good side, so. Well, we know they can. And Gospel now! Gospel with it. Oh, and watch this! Yeah. He silenced! He silenced all the creeks, that man! He silenced the, the audience here at Futsal Oz! Look at this! Oh! Welcome back, Chris Gospel! Lovely, and the ball by Debrito perfectly waiting, and Gospel gets it on that favoured lift all the way down to that height. Perhaps it isn't, but uh, nevertheless, free kick here. Ooh, oh. and Debrito, well. Another lovely shot there, just wide of the pigeonhole, but uh, I think, yeah. keep it up there, mate. You're doing a great job. And all oh, these old Melbourne lads are doing a great job. Fletcher now, look at him go. Fletcher Around another. There. What's he going to do? Laser back, smart, and gospel well. Smart again, just opens up, buys a bit of space, and they're back in possession, Melbourne. And Debrio, this is where he's dangerous. What can he do? Just wait. Starts again. Debrio to bring it in. Captain on the ball. Back to Debrio. Lovely ball and he cuts it in. Oh. And he slams it into the crossbar in my own. Now they're lining him up. And oh gospel, he can hear him. And Debrio once more. mark and what a moment it's going to be when he hits it. Melbourne on the ball, Debrio. Is he going to line up that toe poker? No he is and he picks out my Will at the back post and that was a brilliant ball there. Look at this. Leah drags the defender across the other side. 
Uh, happy to hold it up in the corner. They win themselves another corner here. Will they try some this time? And now he checks back into Brio and slams it in. Well, what a brilliant finish there. There's a hat-trick to Fabian De Bruyne. He deserves it. He's had a top game, you know, working up and down. Great foot skills, great passes, great shooting. He's got every attribute, hasn't he, Fabian De Bruyne? He absolutely does. And uh, the brilliant thing about futsal is you don't have to be the tallest player out there. You don't have to be the big, have the biggest presence. It does not matter. It has no limitations. And, I mean, De Bruyne is just the perfect futsal player package. Like you said, your whole team is really finding their form together. Little uh, De Brito out there, Brazilian, what a superstar, found, eh? Found his feet tonight, really did. Led us through the, the first sort of 15 minutes. Played a great game. I mean, De Brito is just the perfect futsal player package.